Hello, how are you? So we're gonna do some color mixing exercises today. Join me, see if I, if I can do it. Can I do it? Uh, we'll talk about some stuff. Okay, so, uh, and I'll explain the, what, what, what is it I, what is, what's I, what, 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 what I'm doing. So, ideally I wanna match some colors. And when I'm doing that, I'm asking myself a few questions. Uh, the first question you wanna ask, and it's the one that I don't always uh, really care about, but it is important, is, is the value the same? So is the brightness the same? To get something brighter, you would add white or yellow. To get something darker, you would add uh, blue, brown, black. And you can make a black out of blue and brown. And then after matching the value, you wanna establish Color, right the hue and then you'll persistently ask yourself these questions is the color I want more red more yellow more blue more green more purple more orange right and if it's not then add those colors and if you want the opposite so you say well this thing my, my color is too orange well then you would add the opposite of orange the blue to bring it more towards that blue. Okay, I wanted to establish those questions right at the start of the video so you know what we're doing. Okay, so is the value the same and is the color the same? Now, what have, what have I done here? Well, I've selected some colors here and I've selected them on the warm spectrum, right? So I've selected uh, the warm yellow, the warm blue, in the case of the red, instead of picking magenta, I just went with red because I like the red. But you may actually um, want to swap this palette over for like a cold palette or add in the orange, add in the blue, add in the violet, add in, I'm uh, sorry, the green, any other color, right? But the principles are the same. Is the color I want more or less of what I have on the palette? Um, we don't have black on here, but you could use black. So this is more of the traditional how oil painters would do it. Um, you absolutely could use black on there as well. To make something darker, you can go with the black. To add something, make it uh, white, you'd, uh, lighter, you can add white. Understand that if you're adding white to something, you're also going to make it colder. If you add a yellow, you'll make it warmer, if it's a warm yellow at least. Um, and if you're adding black, you're gonna start uh, removing the, the color as it were. So you need to be mindful of that as well. Uh, these are all pretty dry, so I probably should get some like water or some thinner on the palette here. But it's fully up to you. I should point out that I've actually transferred some of these paints to dropper bottles and it just works way better. Because you can put a little dot, and so you can actually like set your recipes, which I don't do. <laughs> so, let's practice. So the first thing we're going to do is let's try to match this color. Okay, this green. Now, this, this already is it looks like a cold green, and I know that it is, because I know what the colors I made it from are. So it's gonna, I think it's gonna be tricky to do this. But let's, let's try, because that's the whole point. So the first thing is, well, with this color is, it's more green than the color I have. The color I have doesn't exist. This is more green than the color I have. So I'm going to mix the colors that would make green. Now, blue is super strong. So you only use a little bit of the blue. Mix together a green of some sort. Hmm. Um, Match the value first, okay? So, well, this is darker. Add some white in there. Oh, I'd say um, this is now uh, too bright. So I darkened it down with some blue. Okay, don't hear. Uh, I'd say it needs to be a little bit brighter again. Uh, 
Uh, it's, it's very difficult for you to see, but hopefully what I'm saying with my voice is working out for you. I'd say maybe the values are the same here. What we have. Okay. But the color that we're trying to get is a much, much colder. So now we need to try to match that color. So I need to make it colder, which means it needs a lot more blue in there. So we need to increase the percentages of blue and white. We made it much more colder. Now, is the value the same? Uh, uh, the, yeah, I'd say the value is the same. The color is also pretty similar as well. I'd say that the color that we have here is a little more uh, on the gray side. Anyway, so let's maybe, you know, ask the question, okay, what is different about this color that I've made and that color? Well, is it more yellow? Well, I'm not really sure. Is it more red? No, I don't think so. Is it more blue? I don't really know. It's, it's kind of more white, right? So if I ask that question, I would say it's a little bit more white. It's, um, what we really need to do is see this dry. But I think we, we kind of had it. So what did we do? We asked ourselves, the color that we wanted, what was it more of? It was more green. So we made a green. We tried to match the value and then we adjusted it uh, as we went. Okay, and we, we had to adjust the temperature. So as instead of adding yellow to increase the brightness, I added white to make it colder. I can only hope this is in frame. It doesn't actually look like it is. I mean, uh, focused. Okay, so this is a color I actually do want to match. Um, is this. Right, this kind of brown color. So I tried this many times and I have failed. So you shall watch me fail today. You'll see me sweat. You're like, yeah, this guy doesn't know what he's doing because he doesn't. <laughs> We're going to try to match this color. I'm definitely not going to paint onto the model, although I might want to do that right there. Um, we're going to try to match this color. Okay. So the color that we want. And uh, you, you can use the same paint pile if you want it. Um, but the risk with that, particularly in my climate, which is, is very warm, um, is that this will start to dry and there'll be dry paint flecks in there, which is a problem. Okay, you don't want that to happen. So what you might want to do, if you're really kind of scientific about this, you can get yourself a dropper bottle and you can start mixing the paints in there and you shake it up with a little, little ball that's in there and then see if the color is what you want and then add a little drop of it, add a little drop, mix it up, add a little drop and then, right, if you've got some, uh, you know, paint retarder or other thinners in there, it would hold itself in here without drying, which uh, might be better for you. But the color there that I want it's like a yellow brown. I know it's got yellow ochre in there, which is a bit annoying because I've not put yellow ochre on this. But let's use the palette that we have to try to match that color. So first thing is we should match the value. It's pretty dark um, and it is, it's got some brown in there. Um, so brown is a mix of everything. So let's, let's avoid this for now. Now, okay, so here's the thing I want to point out about um, the uh, uh, red oxide. I mean, it's a very red. If you want to use it like it's, um, I think it's like Van Dyke Brown or whatever it is um, that um, oil painters use, then you need to add the black to it. Like you need black, you need a dark brown. And that's where the, the new set is, is really good because you can have a dark brown. And if you mix that kind of dark brown with the blue, 
then you get yourself something that's like a black, right? Which means you can avoid using black, which is good. If the more colors you have, the better for your models, all right? They'll look, look better. So I've got this color and honestly, I probably didn't mix enough. Uh, and it's kind of, it's, it's a brown, right? Let's ask a question. Is my color darker or lighter than the color that I want? The color I want is lighter. It has a higher value. So I need to brighten it up. So I think the color I want is like a warm color. It's more in the, the, the reds, maybe, I don't know. But let's add some more yellow. All right, now is the value the same? Honestly, I, I can't really tell unless I painted it on, on there, which sucks. So one of the things that you might want to do if you, if you are scientific about your approach with painting is when you do a model and you kind of finish with um, your, your well, as you're going, is if you can get that paper that uh, doesn't get wet, it's like tradie paper, you can actually paint a little color swatch. And you say, okay, that's the base color for this thing that I just painted, then you would have a color swatch to go back to. Unfortunately, I don't know these things. I really don't know. I'd still say that my color is darker though. So I'm gonna add more yellow. Now, some questions. My color looks more green than the color that's on that model. What's the opposite of green? Red. So if my color looks more green and I want it less green, I put more of the color that's opposite. So I'm going to add some red. Be careful when you're uh, constantly washing your brush because you might add too much moisture in here. Now, my color uh, is now darker. Well, yeah, it's darker. So I need to brighten it up. So I'm gonna need to add more of that yellow to brighten it up. All right, or let's go back to question one, which is, is the value the same? Uh, maybe that my value is brighter now that I painted on my thumb. That was probably a better option, painting it on my thumb, go next to it. So, my color now looks a little bit too orange. My color is more orange than the color on this. So what is opposite of orange? Blue, so add a little bit of blue. Wow, that was way too much, wasn't it? So now mine looks way too green. What's the opposite of green? Red, so let's add some red. Hmm. My color is way darker. So what do I do? Add some white. I'm gonna add some white or yellow here. I'm gonna go with the white. Cause I, why not? Now, believe it or not, I know that it doesn't look like it on the palette versus my model, but I actually remember that it was pretty similar to that. Um, and it's adjusted from here. So, my color. Well, what's wrong with it? Oh, I don't really know. I can't. I, this is a hodgepodge of colors. My model there. Oh, maybe it's got a little bit more blue. Maybe it's got a little bit more red. I don't know. So what you possibly could do is just grab a little bit of something and then start pulling it out in a direction. too much yellow there just so you can see the differences it's way too much blue remember the blue the phthalo blue is so strong that really you should only use a dot of it well it's definitely not that and this one here maybe it's too dark so what if we added some white into that hmm maybe let's add some white into that red mix as well so anytime, also, anytime it looks really hard to see what's going on, add some white. It really kind of reveals what it was. Now this color I would say is, is uh, pretty close. 
I'm so... Let me actually mix a bit of that in there. Just to darken it. So I want to get that value back. I'm actually going to put it on my model. And believe it or not, it's the right color. All right, so it's not so much the highlight color. It's the um, the base color. I added that, that little bit more white to it, and now it's the... Ah, it's a little too gray, I would say. It's got too much blue in it, so it would need some adjustment. The opposite of blue is what? Orange. So a little bit of yellow. A little bit of red. So that got darker, so I'm going to add a little bit of white. I don't know, I've just kind of deleted the highlight a little bit. But it's matching it kind of okay. I've got to say, this is one of my, if not my best painted model. There's people that consider this my best model. So the fact that I just then just put brush to model was crazy. Nah, it is what it is. Like, that's not, not a problem. My hands are shaking, I tell you that. hands are all over it as well okay so but there we go right we, we've I would say mission successful so let's pick a color on this guy actually it was this guy I wanted because this this is an exercise for me this isn't this isn't like just a YouTube thing this is for me um, by the way the gloss gloss varnish like, I kind of like the gloss finishes on models. I gotta say, they don't uh, look so bad. I I want to match this bronze color. Okay, now obviously this is not obviously this is a metallic color. This is uh, rune brass something I believe. Rune Lord brass. Okay, so it's this color. Okay, I know what it is, but I would like to match it so that. Possibly I can learn some non-metallic metal with uh, the same sort of uh, hue. I could say tone, but I don't know if that's the, the correct word. I ain't, I ain't no professional painter. Um, so we're going to try to match this. So a smarter person would get some of that brass painted on their thumb and then... This is actually such a bad idea because every time I touch a metallic paint, it just goes everywhere. Um, that needs a proper mix. It needs a proper mix. Leave it alone. Leave it alone, guys. Let's try to match it. Okay. It is. It's hard to see, isn't it? It might actually be pretty similar. But let's go. So it's uh, it's got a bit of red in it. It's a brown. So let's uh, let's make a brown. That's got more red in it. So how do we make a brown? We mix all three primary colors. Touch this blue in there. Okay. Now, what was question one? As you, as I tapper, 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 and you hear that. Do you remember? Match the value, right? So this is, my color is way too dark. So let's add some white. Yeah, my color is still too dark, I would say. We'll add some white. Um, we're just going to go with, with that, that value. Um, and now, so my color is way paler. It's in the kind of pastel gray range. And that color there, honestly, I don't know what it is. Is it more orange? I'd say it's more orange, I guess. Um, so let's add more orange. So what's an orange? It's a red and a yellow. So let's add that in there. And obviously if you get it wrong, just go in the opposite direction. Um, 
And here is so, so how I'm mixing the yellow and the red. You could just put in the orange, right? From um, the paint set. The issue is, especially with like this, and this is the benefit of the, the new Chimera color set, but I, I probably won't be getting them because reasons. Um, they have like the ultramarine blue. They got the cobalt blue. If you if you were part, if you watch my old video, and I was like, they ain't gonna use a cobalt blue, it's too expensive. They, they did. And um, they've got browns in there. It's actually a really good set. The, the set's really, really lovely, but. <coughs> Um, perhaps not for me. Um, so the value that I have now it, on the palette is probably higher than what I want. So I want to make it darker. So how do you darken it? Well, you add some, if you want a shortcut, add some black. Now the black could also be the blue and uh, the red oxide, but the red oxide is not the same as uh, this kind of mix here. So I'm going to put a little touch of that in there. Mix it up. Oh, I've added too much water into the palette. A little bit of that blue. I'd say my color that I have is a little bit darker, but it's it's on the same sort of spectrum. Like I'm trying to match, guess what? I'm trying to match a metallic. So that's a bit tricky. Okay, I'm not gonna stand up, but I have a metallic medium over there, which I'm not gonna go grab. Actually, I have it here. There it is. Mind the noise. Gonna clean this brush up. This is my second, like number two brush. This is number like as in my my second best brush. The number, the size number one. This is a brush that's kind of died, so I'm gonna. Uh, mix the metallics with this. My color might also be a little bit more blue than I want. Looking at that, because it's more dark. So if we want to uh, brighten that, the opposite of blue is that orange, right? So let's add, add some of that orange. I think that's getting there. And in terms of a video, hopefully this, um, you know, you joining along here may have helped you in some way. I'd say my color is more dark. So let's maybe put it in the shadow. Or it's uh, indiscernible in its difference, apart from the metallic shine. No, I think I think the color, the rune brass, whatever it is, is definitely got more red in it. Like, but it's, it feels like now because of the lights, it's very hard for me to tell um, how different these are. They do look pretty similar which is actually making, I'm very happy with that. But um, 
I wouldn't say they're quite. It's definitely not the same because the, the, the shine on the original is way better. Way better. So, I now have metallic bits on this brush. And I now mix that into that water. Maybe I don't want to use that water anymore. We may end the video pretty soon. So to recap, get some primaries on the palette. All right, primary colors, red, yellow, blue. I suggest picking a temperature first. So this was the warm side, right? So warm side is the, the red, blue, like the blue, the red shade, red oxide, warm yellow, the red. Cold side would be magenta, cold yellow, green, the, the blue green. And I guess you could put the yellow ochre, but this is not really um, something that you, you need. To darken something, you add a blue or something dark, right? So in the case of if it was like a, um, uh, whatever, I can clean this brush up. Um, one of the oil painting type palettes, then make a darker brown. In the case of the new Chimera set, you sh I believe there are some darker browns in there, right? So you can make some darker colors with this side. If you want to increase its value, you pick either white or yellow. If you want it to be warmer, uh, which one was we mixing here? I don't even remember. If you want it to be warmer, then mix the yellow in. If you want it to be colder or more blue, mix the white in. Okay. And then uh, if the colors are looking more red, so the color you want is more red, add some red. If the color you want looks less red, then add the complementary to that color. So if the color you want is more orange, add some more orange. So some more yellow and some more red. If it's the color you want is less orange, add its complementary, blue. If the color you want is more green, add some more green some yellow and some blue or some green if you want to just go straight to the green if the color you want is less green add some red if the color you want is more purple add some more purple if the color you want or well, the color you have is more purple the color you want is less purple add more yellow okay so you're persistently asking these questions is the color i want more of Right. Simplify, is it more red, is it more yellow, is it more blue? Or is it more of the secondaries? Okay. Now that, that's the second half. Remember the first half is you should try to match the value, the brightness first. So uh, these things, okay? To increase the value, add either the white or the yellow. To decrease the value, add, uh, add blue or uh, brown or black, okay? So that kind of summar uh, summarizes the video. Hopefully um, you enjoyed this time with me on this little mix-in adventure. I don't have the new set of Chimera, so I can't really talk about how you'd mix that, but it's all the exact same, right? So I know there's an ultramarine blue in there. If your color looks less ultramarine blue, Add more ultramarine blue. If it looks more, then add whatever the complementary to that blue would be, which is still some sort of orange. Okay? So the principles are all the same. The advantage of having those uh, sets with the, the more kind of refined colors of, of something that's kind of been made up for you is you can go straight to that and that can be your like punchy color. It can be your highlight, it can be whatever. Um, and you can adjust it from there. You're really going to love, I think, the cobalt. I don't have it, but I know it's probably going to be a pretty sick color. You can see lots of that out there. Um, 
Also, I will say one thing with the, with doing it this way is you can't you can't get those punchy colors. So with that new set with the cobalt um, blue. So even see I, how I mix this up and I add the white. I add the white. I can I can touch in some different colors to try to get somewhere along that line of that cobalt blue that really like bright sky blue but i'm not really going to match it okay i'm not i'm not going to be able to get it exactly because that that pure pigment is as strong as you're going to be able to get it if you have it pure so remember if you're if you're really 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 trying to get a punchy color you need to be careful about muddying the colors. So if I wanted a really punchy orange, like I, I should pull out the orange. But if I don't have that, right, then I've got to be using just the red and the yellow and um, avoiding the blue at all costs, right? You can't uh, brown the color up. You can't muddy it if you really want to get those punchy values okay so that's kind of the last thing i'd say on that that regard um hopefully this helps uh this was fun for me i enjoyed this so have a nice day have a nice night wherever you are in the world peace out